Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming the Fall Favorites tag. This was created by Jaclyn Hill, I believe, and I've seen a few of my friends, um, Courtney and Mary and LS, do this tag, so I thought it would be a fun video to film. So the first question is, what is your favorite fall candle? And I am not a candle person at all. I can't remember the last time I've gone to Bath and Body Works or any stores that sell candles. Um, I have one candle at my house at home that my husband and I just bought on a whim. I don't even know what the scent is. It, it isn't even very overpowering. And we've had it for a couple years. And then I have two like little tea candles on my dining room table. And that's it. So I am kind of thinking about getting a scented candle though. Um, to be honest, my landlord has two dogs and they kind of smell kind of bad. Luckily the smell doesn't really get up to my room, but every once in a while I can kind of smell dog in my room, which isn't very great. So I think I might get a candle to kind of counteract that. She has some candles in like the dining room and the living room and they really do mask the dog smell. Luckily they're not out too much so it doesn't happen too often but just in case I smell some dog I would like to have something to cover it up with. So if you have any recommendations let me know. I don't like really sweet scents so nothing super sweet but anything kind of fall. I like apples and pumpkins and cinnamon and all that kind of stuff. So let me know if you have any good recommendations and perhaps I'll go check those out. The next is favorite fall lip and I kind of brought over a lot of things. So for a fall neutral kind of lip, I pulled out my NARS Jane lipstick. Oh sorry, my there. This is kind of a interesting neutral to me. I find that it's like a really kind of bright and bold, but also very neutral. Sorry, the lighting is really weird at this time of day and this is when I can film today. So it's kind of like a terracotta rosy shade and I really like it. I got this to celebrate getting into my internship and I really want to kind of make a point to wear this a lot more during my internship. And I also really like kind of dark berry lips and I don't really have a good example of that kind of more purpley shades. Um, my favorite lip liner is right here. It's a Jordana in Cabernet. And I really, really like this. And I have some more purpley shades back at home. I just didn't bring them with me. I'll probably grab a few when I'm home in November. But I kind of like purples too. So I have with me Bichette, or not Bichette, ColourPop uh, Flawless. You can kind of see that there. And then I also kind of like darker reds. So another example I have is Bichette from ColourPop. And that is right there. And I kind of did a bad job packing because I wanted to bring stuff for the summer. And I was kind of thinking that all my kind of fall stuff I would just get in November and live without it in October. But I've really been craving a lot of it. So, um... So another favorite I have is what I'm wearing on my lips, and this has been a favorite for about two hours now. Um, I got a package in the mail today from Sephora. I ordered a hair tie so I could get the 250 point bite beauty perk. And that is a limited edition perk that comes with this lipstick that I'm wearing right now, and then the matching gloss. And I just am in love with this shade. It's kind of like a deep magenta, I don't know. It's very, very pretty. It's kind of pink, but kind of purple. I don't know. I just, I'm really into it, and I couldn't resist it when I saw it. someone post about it on Instagram. So I picked up that point perk with some points I had. Next is favorite fall drink, and I am not really into all the specialty flavored latte type things that are around at this time of year. Um, the past few years I've been like, okay, I, I love pumpkin spice lattes, I'm going to go get one, and then every time I get one I'm like disappointed and think it tastes disgusting. So this year I finally said no, I'm not going to even go there again. They're just so sweet and I'm just not into it. I always think I like it more than I do. But my favorite fall drink the past few years has been apple flavored teas. Um, one of my favorites is from the Republic of Tea and I think it's just called Hot Apple Cider Tea. I have that one at home. But I picked up this one here. It's from Tazo. It was just a little cheaper so I decided to try it and I really like it. So um, it is the organic baked cinnamon apple tea and I really really like this. It's kind of like apple cider. Oops. Um, <laughs> That was upside down. It kind of tastes a little bit like apple cider and cinnamon, but it doesn't have all the sugar and all that stuff. So I'm really, really into that tea right now. 
Then for favorite fall blushes, um, I really like NARS Sin, which is kind of a darker purple plummy blush, and I like to wear that probably, you know, starting around October, November. I mean, what am I saying? I got it last year around this time, so I've only had it for one season. But um, that one I don't have with me yet. That was one I decided I would swap out for when I go back home. But my other favorite fall blushes are actually a combo. Um, so I have NARS Liberté right here and Clinique Ginger Pop, and I'll go ahead and swatch them. Alright, so hopefully you can see. So here on the bottom is Liberté, and then on the top is Ginger Pop. And Ginger Pop is just a bit pinkier. Um, this one looks matte on your skin. In the pan there is a little shimmer, but on the skin it looks matte. And then Ginger Pop does have a little bit of a sheen to it, and then this is them kind of combined. So I just really like the combination. Liberté is a little bit more apricot, and then this one's a little pinker, and then I just really like the kind of in-between ground. And I don't even know how I, why I decided to combine these once last year, but I just fell in love with this combo, and I wear it all the time. And I especially think like these blushes right here will go really well with this NARS Jane lipstick. Alright, so favorite clothing item for the fall is I love wearing tights and boots. So, I mean, I just have black tights, they're nothing special to show you, but here is one of my favorite boots that I have right now. Um, it's really tall, it goes up to my knees. It's from Aldo, and I got this last year. It has like a wedge heel, but it's kind of like in the silhouette, which I really like. And I have more kind of athletic shins or yeah, shins, I guess, not shins, calves. Um, I have more athletic calves, more curvy calves. So I often have trouble kind of finding boots that fit really well. But what I like about this pair from Aldo is that the front is leather, but then the back part is kind of like this stretchy material. So it just kind of forms to whatever the shape of your leg is and fits perfectly. So I really, really like these. They've been my favorite um, since I got them last year. Then my other favorite pair is also from Aldo. These are a gray suede, and this is actually my second pair. I had another pair that was similar, just didn't have this buckle. And to be honest, I kind of preferred them that way. But um, they're gray suede, and then they have this like leg warmer thing attached. So I really like these. They're really warm and I love them so much I bought a second pair. I have a problem where I think I must walk. I have I don't have really great feet. I have flat feet and um, my dad he had to have foot surgery and, my, and I, my sister and I had to wear special shoes when we were little because our feet were all effed up. So I always wear through the bottom of my right foot shoe like right about the ball of my foot so I did that to these boots there was a hole all the way through the sole and I had just had to get them again so I mean it takes me a couple years to get through a sole but I will if I wear the shoes enough and I definitely wore those enough to get through the sole so just a weird issue I have anyway the next question is what is your favorite fall movie and I literally don't know what that means I haven't watched Jacqueline's original video of this tag so I don't know if she, I, most of the videos I've seen have mentioned like Halloween movies, but I am not into any movies that are Halloween themed. I can't think of any fall themed movies, so I'm, I guess I just don't have an answer for that. And then the next question is your favorite fall TV show, and I guess that's just, like I said, I didn't watch the original a show that comes back in the fall. I don't know of any shows that are specifically fall themed, so that's what I'm guessing, but to be honest, right now... I'm not watching any shows. Um, I don't have cable. I watch all my shows on Netflix and Hulu, and there aren't any shows that are still on air right now that I'm really into that I can think of, um, at least that are coming out in the fall. Like, I watch Game of Thrones, and... Well, I watch Game of Thrones. I watch I watch a lot of shows that are kind of on year-round. Like, I really love Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. I watch At Midnight on Comedy Central. Um, the Daily Show, I used to watch The Colbert Report, um, I haven't watched The Daily Show too much since the new host took over, but I have watched it a few times, and it's definitely not as good, but I still watch it. I watch The Nightly Show with Larry Whitmore sometimes, but I really don't have any, like, fall shows, I guess. So, another question I don't have an answer to. Um, the next 
Next up is what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? And that would definitely be these muffins my mom makes for Thanksgiving. I was a really picky eater growing up. Meat grossed me out. I didn't like, I hate gravy. I, so I didn't have mashed potatoes and gravy. So there were a lot of Thanksgivings where literally all I ate was like four of these muffins that my mom would make. And she would never tell anyone what the ingredients were until after they tried them because they're so good. But the ingredients kind of put people off and that's because they're spinach orange muffins and I know that sounds weird but they are seriously so so good I make them every single year since I've left my parents house and I just love them so those and pumpkin pie are definitely my two favorite Thanksgiving foods finally what is your favorite Halloween costume and I am just not really into Halloween. I have dressed up the last couple years, but it's always been kind of a last minute costume that I didn't put too much effort into. Last year I was Lord. Um, I have a picture on my Instagram. Um, I was really proud of my makeup. I found like an article with her makeup artist from one of her video shoots and I emulated that. I forgot what song. Oh my god, it's really gonna bother me that I can't think of the song, but it's the one where it's like basically just her face. She has her hair in braids kind of around her head and she's wearing like this super dark purple lipstick so that video kind of inspired me to buy my first MAC lipstick which was smoked purple because in that article her makeup artist her makeup artist made a blend using some pro products I don't know but she said the closest thing was smoked purple so I ended up buying that just because I don't know I have a major girl crush on Lord, and I really wanted to have some dark purple lipstick I don't really wear it out of the house very often but I am really happy to have it it just makes me happy and then two years ago I was Leslie Nope so I just kind of wore a blazer and a button-up shirt and then I made these pins one said I love Pawnee or I heart Pawnee and the other one said recall nope and then question mark don't at the bottom there was an uh a year there was an episode that had come out a couple of weeks before Halloween that year where um people it was the season where she was trying to be recalled so her idea was to go around to all the signs that the other side had put up and put stick on a question mark and don't at the bottom so. so I did that and that turned out pretty good for it being a very last minute idea so anyway um the last thing I'm going to share this isn't in the original tag but since I didn't have answers to some of the questions and I saw some other people do this too is favorite fall nail color so I love dark dark nails in the fall so I have a couple here um this one is kind of a taupe brown that's a little bit lighter this is how great is your Dane and this is from OPI their Nordic collection last year and then this one is called icing in color you can kind of see it right here in the light oh there that it's a really dark dark red and this is also very similar to the Clinique black honey nail polish which I had from a kit last year that I also really enjoyed and used up in my project polish and then this is Formula X Genius. I have been talking about this a lot since I got it. I really, really love it. I wonder if you can kind of see. You can kind of see in this weird lighting that it's more brown than black. But on your nails, it looks black, but like a really, really rich black. And then two others that I'll mention, I forgot to grab them, are Incognito and Sausalito, which is a navy blue and Christmas Gone Plaid, which is a dark hunter green, and that one was from the Gwen Stefani collection from last year. So those are my favorite nails for the fall, and that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you've done this tag, let me know, and I will go watch it. Or if you haven't, um, feel free to answer any of the questions in the comments down below or make a video of your own. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!